my doctor has told me that I have an infection in my spine. Or the, is that a major problem? If that is the case with you, this video is for you. I am Dr. Himanshu. I am a spine specialist working in Hyderabad. And I am going to take you through the topic in very brief. The infections of spine. Now, what are the infections of spine? Whenever the spine uh, it gets infected, it starts form, it, it starts losing its uh, stability of the spine. You start there is a collection of pus. Sometimes there is compression of the nerves around the uh, spinal column, and you start developing weakness in your legs. So these are the problems which develop when there is an infection in the spine. Now, this infection majorly are two types. One is either it is because of TB. In India, TB is very common. So, TB infections are also very common. The other types of infections are non-TB or the pyogenic which we call. Uh, so, these are the major types of the infections. And uh, when you have an infection, a surgeon basically sees that is the stability of the spine affected? Is the infection causing more damage to the bone or to the nerves? And number three, is it going to cause a future deformity of your spine or no? If these three criteria are there, you might need a surgery for the infection. If these three criteria are not there, the surgeon tries to do is take a biopsy or a small piece from that uh, spine, uh, infected area and sends it for infection to confirm whether infection is there or no. Once the infection is con confirmed, he starts on antibiotics, he starts on medicines and he sees how the infection is getting cured. Now this is one way of managing the infection. The another way of managing the infection when I, which, what that I said was with surgery that happens only if the stability of the spine is disturbed, the, inf, uh, the, the neurological deficit is developing or if there is a deformity of the spine. These are the three places where the surgery is indicated. Why? Because if the surgery is delayed, the problems of neglecting uh, this problem is much more than the surgery. The outcomes of surgeries are better if it is done at an early stage of infection. So, to count again, if there is a problem in the stability of the spine, if there is a weakness in the neurology or if there is a deformity, these are the cases where you need uh, surgery for the spine and you should not get worried about it because if it is done earlier, the outcomes are better. Now, once you operate the spine, basically what you are doing is you are making your spine stable, you are decompressing the nerves from the compression so that your nerves become free and the chances of recovery of your neurology is there. Apart from surgery, you have also to send the tissues for biopsy again just to know what exactly the infection is what exactly you have to use the antibiotics, what is the course of antibiotics. So, when there is surgery needed, you also need a course of antibiotics. Now, this antibiotics, as I said, could be for the TB or could be for non-TB kind of infections. So, only surgery is inadequate. You get operated along with that, complete the course of uh, antibiotics also and then would you have a good outcome. Majority of the uh, infections that are dealt early and given appropriate antibiotics, the outcome is as good as any other surgeries and you become as normal as any other person. So, if there is an infection, the point to be noted or the takeaway message is never neglect it. It is not the case for massage or physiotherapy. It is the case for early intervention and, uh, uh, and appropriate treatment. Point number two takeaway is even if it is surgery, discuss with your surgeons, maybe take a second opinion and then do not neglect it. Go ahead with the treatment. And number three, do not neglect the antibiotic part as well because surgery is incomplete if you have not added appropriate antibiotics. So, to conclude, infections are yes very important because if the infection goes out of control, it becomes hazardous to the patient. You become bed bound, you become uh, uh, deficits in the leg or in the hands or there is a deformity. So, do not take the infection of the spine light. If you have been diagnosed as infection of the spine, 
please sort it out as early as possible take proper opinion thank you